if you're posting on TikTok and you're getting hit with violations saying you did something against the terms of service, but when you check it, you didn't actually do anything that violated the terms of service, there may actually be a reason for that. Right now, I am getting reports from followers here on the channel saying this is happening to them. And I myself have had this happen twice on my content in the last couple of days without any actual violations. So what's going on? This is a glitch inside of TikTok. And there's a couple of things you need to know so that you can take the appropriate steps to deal with this. So at this point, TikTok is rolling out a new sister app called TikTok Notes. It's kind of their answer to Instagram. It's going to feature photos. And because they are integrating it with TikTok, so the posts that are going from TikTok are also going to TikTok Notes, we are seeing some errors inside of TikTok. This is incredibly common. This happens all the time inside of Meta, especially with Instagram. And so when they roll out new features or functionalities, they're adding in new integrated apps like this, we often see some really big flukes inside the system of the main app. In this case, it's going to be TikTok, and we're starting to see these violation glitches coming out for a lot of people. So with that in mind, over the next few days, as they are going to be working on this, because right now they're just starting to get alerted to it, so it's probably going to take a hot minute for them to fix this, you want to keep in mind that you should be saving your best content for later. I would wait a week or two before posting the really good content. Now that doesn't mean you can't post. It just means if you have something that's really good or really important that you don't want to have hit with a violation and cause issues, just save it. Save that for a little bit and then post it once we're through this because you're risking getting a violation on whatever you post, whether or not it violates the terms of service right now. Now, if you do get hit with one of these violations, you can appeal it. It'll probably take a really long time. And even if you do get that appeal fixed. Unfortunately, it's already done the damage. You're not going to get those views on the content that you're posting. So at that point, you want to make sure you're just posting lower importance content right now. Still have the conversation, still do things, but save the really good, juicy, important stuff for a little bit later on. Now, if you are getting those violations, do not delete it and repost it. This is a conversation I've been having with a lot of you right now. We do not want to delete things. If it says we're violating the terms of service, whether or not we are, if you take that down and repost it, that shows the algorithm, the algorithm not run by an actual human, the algorithm is going to say, but I've already warned them about this content and they're trying to post it again. This is red flags, red flags, red flags, and could, if you continue to do this, not only get you some strikes against your account, but could potentially get your account banned. So we are not taking things down. If they're under review or if they were given a violation of some kind, go through the appeal process, but leave it be. We are not messing around with this. What you can do is if you really don't want it there because it has like a super low view or whatever, private it. You can private that piece of content, but let it sit there. Let the algorithm do its thing. Let the review board do its thing, if, especially if it's under review. If a human's going to go and look at it, don't be messing around with this. So just leave them there. Don't touch them. Don't try to repost them. After we get through this two, three weeks, you can try to post that content again. I do recommend making a couple of tweaks. It doesn't have to be anything big. Chop off a little bit of the beginning, chop off a little bit of the end, change some of the text, change some of the voiceover. Just switch it up a little bit so that it is considered unique content. When it's considered unique content, it's not going to have already read through everything in the file and say, but we already warned them about this. So you want to make sure that you leave content if it's under review. You leave content if it has the violation. You can private it if you want, but don't go messing around with it and do not re-upload it because that just tells the system you are being disrespectful to what they have told you you are allowed and not allowed to do, whether or not it is correct. So you want to make sure you're being respectful of the system so that you don't get those strikes or you don't get banned with this. And this is something that a lot of us are seeing. So don't stress out about it. Don't get too overly worried about it because this is one that you can get through. It's just going to take a hot second for us to get through it. So I do recommend waiting one to two weeks before you're posting your really good content. If you're having issues with things, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I am monitoring this for all of you. I will continue to make content on this. I will continue to update you on this. There may be some shorts that I put out. I'll put it in the community tab here on the channel as we're starting to see things figure themselves out. But this is across the board something we see when apps are rolling out new features, functionalities, or sister apps that are integrated. We are going to see a lot of internal glitches and oftentimes that manifests in problems with posting for people. So we're going to see more and more of this. Don't stress out over it. We're all going through it and save the good content for a little bit later. Also, if you are doing brand deals or sponsored content, 
be aware this is something that could happen. <clears throat> if it does happen, have the conversation with the brand that you're working with. Let them know that this is a glitch. You can even send them this video to explain what's going on and then let them know that you have a plan in mind to deal with this. So if you get hit with those violations or if you get hit with those incredibly low numbers, have a plan, figure that out. If you want a video on how to do that, we can do a video on that as well, but know what you're going to do to make it right, even though this wasn't your fault, if that brand video takes a little bit of a hit. So have a plan in mind, move forward with this, and just do your best over the next couple of weeks as we watch this unfold and get figured out inside of the TikTok system or any of the social app systems as you see this happening again and again. And anytime it does happen, I do let you know here. So hit that subscribe and notification bell, follow along for daily videos and daily updates when this kind of stuff goes on so that you do not miss out on things that are really important to make sure that your posts are getting out to the correct people the best way possible. We'll see in the upcoming episodes as we continue to help you navigate the world of TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, live streaming, and tools and resources you need to make this the most profitable year ever.